you guys are Duran. Is you guys are Duran? My phone is still doing this fuzzy crap. Because I am, in fact, Duran. I wanted to show you how long my hair's gotten. Like, this is pretty long. But it kind of curls at the end, like a little bit, so it doesn't do the whole straight thing. But yeah, see how it like kind of bends this way. But like, look how long my hair's gotten. And everyone's got her hair uh, long like this too. It's a little longer than mine, but she's got her hair straightened. Um, oh my gosh. She did the cutest freaking thing ever. So she parted her hair like mine. So she, so like we could go out and look, look like we have the same hair. She is so stinking cute. Here I am thinking that I have like all this like things wrong with me and like that I'm ugly and she just wants to look like me. Is that not the cutest damn thing? It is so cute. She thinks I'm so beautiful and I'm so appreciative of the way that she treats me. 14 days until she graduates. 17 days until she comes home. 17 days until she comes home. We thought it was going to be a Monday. It's actually, if we time it right, it'll be Sunday. So it's one day earlier than we thought. So I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. So it's 14 days. It's exactly two weeks until she graduates. And then it's 17 days until she's home with me. So we are in the final stretch. We have a little over two weeks. This is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm, I can't even, I can't, I just can't. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm so ready to have her back in my arms, to have her back in my bed, to have her back making food for her and just being wonderful. And where is your water? Where's your water? No, uh-uh, no, you don't have any? Well, you can, I can wait. No, that's okay, just take your time. While you're doing that, I'm just gonna have me some. You got your water? You in there? I see you over there. I see you over there dehydrated, not drinking enough water. Coffee does not count. Water. H2O. Not H2O added with bean juice or leaf juice. Just water. Drink your water. Drink your water. Drink your water. Drink your water. So, this video is going to cover something that is controversial. Of course it is because... People like to be mean to me. Um, so, we are going to be moving probably in February. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet. She still doesn't have orders. So, I can't tell you guys. I don't know. Um, and even if I did know, I still wouldn't tell you guys because I like to make you guys guess as we're going through the United States. Because that's fun for me to take pictures at places and then be like, do you know where we're at? So when we were coming to South Dakota, um, that was the same thing. Do you guys know where we're at? And it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to getting the hell out of here. Um, but before that, I have a doctor's appointment to get something done. Um, we've been hemming and hawing over it for about two years now since we've been here. Uh, February will be two years. And like I said, we've been hemming and hawing over it. Um, so I met with a bariatric doctor called Dr. Fromm, and we sent me to a gastroenterologist. We sent me and had a colonoscopy done. Um, I have, and this is going to be TMI, I have um, hemorrhoids, very large hemorrhoids that are inside and outside. I also have an anal, anal uh, an anal fissure. And so I'm going to explain what that is. So the skin is um, is breaking. So it breaks 
it bleeds, it hurts real bad, and then I have what's called chronic diarrhea from my distal bypass. I go to the bathroom about eight times a day. That's, that's minimum eight times a day. So food passes through me really quickly, um, and then I end up having to go to the bathroom. Now, I can't have vegetables, I can't have fruits, I can't have nuts, I can't have uh, bread, I can't have potatoes, I can't have, which those two things aren't a big deal. I can't have pasta, I can't have anything with gluten in it, anything with yeast in it, because I blow up, and then I have this horrible gas. So I have to stick to pretty much just meat and cheese. If I have any kind of vegetables, it's the same thing. It doesn't digest. It just blows me up and then I have horrible gas. And it's not just a little bit, it's horrible, horrible gas for hours until my body decides to process it and then I can go relieve it. Um, so my downstairs area is not doing so well. Um, with the hemorrhoids and the, the fissure and the constant diarrhea, he has decided that it would be better for me not to reverse my distal, but to have something called an overstitch done. So it's called an Apollo overstitch. They use a um, robotic um, thing to go down my esophagus and they stitch the hole that is the size of a silver dollar and they stitch that to about this big. So. I'm going to have what's called an overstitch done in hopes that I have restriction and I'm able to digest my food a little better. So it'll stay in my pouch, it will get digested before it goes, well most of it will get digested before it heads into my small intestine and is bypassed 55%. Um, this is for complication, it is not for weight loss. So before somebody comes at me with, oh my God, you're having another weight. This has nothing to do with weight loss. Weight loss would be a small bonus, but he doesn't think that I'm gonna lose much at all with it. Um, he is hoping that this is just going to help me digest my medicines as well. So I have to crush a lot of my meds to get my medicines to digest, and I take 22 pills per day. I take seven supplements a day and some of those are two times a day. So I take two forms of K, I take two forms of D, I take an E, an A, um, a multivitamin, and I take a super fruit and super um, vegetable. So that's eight supplements a day and like I said, like some of them are two times per day. That's a lot of money because it comes out of pocket. So I have to buy that stuff off of Amazon and um, this is stuff I have to take every day to keep my levels up. Well, the overstitch making my, my stomach, my, the hole that goes into my intestines smaller, my stomach is still the same size. We've had a barium swallow and the stomach is literally just the size, a little bit size of an egg. So he's not touching that because there's no reason to. He's just going in there making um making little pleats and then pulling it till it's about the size of a little bit under a quarter um so food will stay and i'll be able to eat like a normal bariatric patient and have some sort of restriction because that's something i've never had uh, this is due to a complication with my original gastric bypass and my original um gallbladder removal so i have been hemming and hawing about telling you guys about this i've been hemming and hawing about whether or not i wanted to get it because i wasn't sure if i was going to get it i wasn't sure that you know i wanted to get it i wasn't sure that um i wanted to share it because people are going to immediately assume i'm like oh so she's going to try to lose more weight it has nothing to do with me trying to lose more weight it is everything to do with me trying to get off some of these supplements get off some of these pills get off some of these massive amounts of like you know lamictal wellbutrin um you know buce bar um uh, you know, um, Latuda, like I'm having to take so much of it because I don't digest it and I don't want to take that much anymore. So I don't want to take all these supplements if I can, if I can have 
restriction and have some of this stuff actually digest in my stomach, that would be a freaking miracle for me. So, and the fact that I will have less diarrhea because I will have less, it won't go through me so fast, is going to be a miracle for somebody like me. I hurt all the time. My, my butt hurts all the time. And it's one of the most painful things that I can tell you that I deal with every single solitary day because I'm constantly breaking open that skin and aggravating those hemorrhoids every single solitary day, every time I go to the bathroom. And he said that this might help me with that because I will not have, you know, the, the instant food just going and I might be able to have sort of normal BMI, um, BI, BMs. So, um, I'm shaking because I'm excited, but I'm nervous. So, I'm having the procedure done. Um, it's totally endoscopic. Um, on the 22nd of January, like I said, we think we're moving in February. So, I kind of had to get it done as soon as possible and still have time for him to, to see me and make sure that I'm okay before I move. So... Um, I had to fight TRICARE for it because it's a dilation of the uh, duodenum and um, so that's what he called it um, and so TRICARE was like mm, well I guess since she's having all these complications and we've talked to the gastroenterologist and he said the same thing um, he said that this is going to help me um, we've talked to uh, in, you know I had an endoscopy done and he he's very sure that this is going to work I've had um, a colonoscopy done and it shows that you know I'm irritated and that the hemorrhoids and stuff that I have are irritated and that the, the fissure, fiss, uh, fissure is like a lot of scar tissue and I would have to have surgery to get that fixed and I don't want surgery in my baho no no, 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 Mm -mm. we're going to pass on that ass so I'm hoping you guys are going to be supportive of me I'm hoping you're going to understand why I'm getting it done but I want to share the journey with you this is a new thing for me this is going to be new food for me this is going to be me trying out new foods so I'm actually really excited to share it with you to see if anybody else wants to get this done because they don't have restriction um, this might be a game changer for some people who, you know, don't want to have a full-on revision. They can have this done where you're just getting something done endoscopically and it gives you restriction that you can't, you know, blow out again. Because that's what the problem is. People think that their stomach has stretched. Well, it's not... It's not really that. It's the, the hole that goes into your intestines, like the, the sphincter, gets bigger because people overeat. And over time it stretches. I'm not saying that it's that big, but over time it stretches every time you eat. And it allows you to eat more food. And plus people don't eat the way they're supposed to. And I'm guilty of that as well. But like I said, this is not a weight loss surgery for me. This is a complication fix surgery for me. And with all hopes and promises and thoughts and prayers, this is going to help me with not having to go to the bathroom eight times a day and cry because I hurt so bad. Um, and I have to get up an hour earlier than I normally would to two hours or about an hour and a half it takes for me to be ready to go to the gym at 540, um, at 5.45 because I have to go to the bathroom. So when I wake up, it wakes me up. Um, my stomach, I immediately have to go to the bathroom and then I have to walk around and, you know, like rub my stomach and jump up and down and, you know, drink lots of water and like try to get it all out before I go to the bath, um, before I go to the gym because I don't want to have to do this at the gym.
because it's bad. It smells really bad. It's the worst smell I've ever smelt. It's just partially digested food, and I don't want to embarrass myself by going to the gym and having that done. So I get up super early to try to get all that out as much as possible. And then I don't eat anything. So because if I eat something and you know, I might have to go to the bathroom at the gym and that's embarrassing. Or if I want to leave the house, I can't eat anything. Um, while I'm out, I can't eat anything. And if I do, I have to watch what I eat because it'll immediately bloat me and I'll have terrible gas. So I have to stick to meat and cheese. Um, you know, sometimes I'd like to have french fries. Sometimes I'd like to have some mashed potatoes. Sometimes I'd like to have a salad. Sometimes I would love to have a salad. Oh my God, a salad. I've missed salads. If you guys know me and have been on my channel for a long time, you know that I used to make, like, I used to have these huge things of, um, spring mix that I would have with my meat and cheese and I would just roll it up and just have a spring mix and it, I loved it so much. Well, I haven't been able to do that in three years because it tears my stomach up. Well, not my stomach, but my intestines up. So I haven't been able to do that. And like, I can't have any nuts because it, it aggravates my, my intestines as well because they don't digest. Um, so hopefully with everything, this will be amazing. This is going to help me a lot and I'm super excited for it. I want you guys to be excited for me. I want you guys to be here through the whole thing. I want to share it because nobody else has shared it besides one lady and it did not work for her. Um, she ate past it, um, ate a lot of slider foods and she made one post about it um, she said she lost about 28 pounds and that she started doing keto and that is where she's lost her weight um, because like I said she's been eating nothing but slider foods and so she just didn't lose any more weight than she was supposed to. Um, like I said this would be a bonus to have some weight loss but we're not really we're not really looking for weight loss. I'm not really worried about weight loss. I'm not gaining enough weight to care about the weight loss. Um, I'm just looking forward to being able to have some variety in my food and being able to be full off a half a cup of food um, and to be satisfied. That's what I'm looking forward to. So I hope you guys will be here for it. I hope you guys will be happy for me. I hope you guys will follow along um, because I'm going to I'm gonna show everything. Um, I'm going to let you know how it goes. So I'm 42 years old uh, and I'm ready to feel better. Um, I'm ready to feel more normal and have more control over my bowels to be honest with you. I want to have more control over my bowels. And the only way that that was going to happen besides this was to have my distal reversed and I was not willing to do that. Um, I haven't gone this far just to give up. So I don't give up. I find ways to fix things that are wrong and that's what I've done. I found a way to fix something that's wrong with me, that's been wrong with me since I had this done, um, my gastric bypass done eight years ago. And I've been living with it ever since and I'm super excited my wife is behind me a hundred percent and that's all that matters so I know Christmas is coming and I know it's hard and I know things are rough but if nobody told you today that you are loved I love you if nobody told you today that you're a beautiful individual that you are unique that you are special that you're here for a purpose you are I believe that with every part of my body, I believe that with every fiber of my being that you are a compassionate person, that you are kind to people because it doesn't hurt and it doesn't do anything besides make you a better person to be kind to people. It doesn't do anything but make you and that person feel good when you are kind to somebody. It makes you more beautiful. That's what it does. Because you know what? Being beautiful on the outside isn't all that. But being beautiful on the inside, that's where it really counts. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's the truth. I feel so 
good when I make people smile. I feel so good when people tell me that I, you know, I help them, that I inspire them, that I make them feel good, that, you know, I post on their pictures how beautiful they are. You know, I post on their, you know, stuff that they don't feel good, that I hope they feel better. I pray for people all the time. Like, it's just, it's amazing how good you feel when you have compassion for others and empathy for others. Um, so if nobody told you today that you are needed, that you are wanted, that somebody is proud of you, it doesn't matter what you accomplish today. I don't care if you just got out of bed and that's all you've been able to manage, that you've gone to, out of bed and gone to the bathroom and come right back. If that's all that you've been able to do today, I'm proud of you. I need you here especially now I need you here um, Evelyn will be back I don't know if I said it in this video because I deleted the first one but she will be back in 17 days so she graduates in 14 and she'll be back with me in 17 days and I couldn't be more excited so I love your beautiful gorgeous amazing faces thank you for being with me for all of this time and I will talk to you very, very, very soon. Mwah. Bye.